friends, and welcome to Children's Church for today. Happy Sunday. I hope everyone has had the best week and is healthy and well and happy this morning, and I'm so thankful that you joined us today. Today, we are talking about another one of God's what? Commandments. That's right. We're on our 10 Commandments series still, and this week we're on number... You remember? Number... Six. We're on commandment number six today. But before we talk about what the sixth commandment is, let's review our first five. Because remember, we're trying to remember what all ten of them in are by the end of this. So do you remember what number one was? Number one was to have no other gods besides God. God is the only God. He is number one. He is the only one. And he is always at the top of our list. Number two was to have no idols, to make no idols, to worship nothing but God. Number three was, do you remember? Remember? To not use the name of the Lord your God in vain, meaning whether we say it or whether it is an action. When we say God's name or we say we are doing something for God, we have to make sure that it truly is for God and it is in a way that shows God to others. Number four was to observe the Sabbath and keep it holy, meaning that we have to make sure we take time to rest, to rest with God, and to make sure that we find those times to take a break and get our energy back so we can do God's work in the best way possible. And number five was, you remember? To honor thy father and mother, meaning that we have to remember just as when God gives us rules, we may not always like them. When our mom and dad give us rules and ask us to follow them, they are for our best and they're to help us make, make us even better people and to be who God created us to be. So we honor God by honoring our father and mother and respecting them and listening to them and doing the things they ask us to do. Because even though they may not always be the most fun things, they really are what's best for us in the end. So today we're gonna to talk about the sixth commandment. And I'm gonna let, before we say what it is, I'm gonna let my friend Amelia Myers read us our scripture lesson this morning. So Amelia, Tell us what the scriptures say today. Romans 12, 9 and 10. Do not pretend to love others. Really love them. Hate what is wrong. Hold tightly to what is good. Love each other with genuine affection. And take delight in honoring each other. Exodus twenty thirteen. You must not murder. Did you see how good she did? Amelia, great job reading God's Word this morning. And now that we've heard what God's Word says about the Sixth Commandment, let's let our friend Rustin tell us what he thinks it means. Go ahead, Rustin. The Sixth Commandment is thou shalt not kill. I think this means we should not hurt people physically or emotionally. We should not call people names or make fun of them. We should find ways to be their friends. Very good, my friend. I like that you thought about that and the different ways it could apply more than just that basic, simple way you could think about it. Because we know usually when God says something, there's a lot more to it than what we realize at first. So the sixth commandment is, thou shalt not murder. So before we talk about what that means, let's talk about what that is. So if you murder someone, that technically means that you kill them, meaning they're dead. So what does it mean when someone's dead? Well, when someone's dead, it means that their heart stops beating and that their lungs stop breathing. When someone is not breathing and their heart is not beating, technically they're dead. But I think God meant a whole lot more than just that, don't you? Because I mean, I've never killed anybody, 
Most people in the world have never killed anybody, so that would seem like a pretty easy one to follow. But God usually makes it a little more complicated than that, and he definitely did in this one. And to understand why it's more than just don't kill somebody, we've got to think about what God made in us. So God obviously made my heart, which is the part that keeps my heart beating so I'm alive. And God obviously made my lungs, which is what keeps me breathing. But God made a whole lot more than that. Physically, he made a whole lot more than that. He made my arms, my legs, my hands, my head. He made my ears, my nose, my mouth. He made my feet. He made my brain. He made all the parts that make up my body. But he also made something else that's pretty special. He made my soul. He made my feelings. He made all those things that make me up and make you up besides just our arms and legs and organs and brains and all that stuff and everything. And I think he made each one of them matter just the same. Because even if somebody is alive technically, when you hurt their heart and when you hurt their emotions, and you hurt their feelings, that hurts just as much as if somebody physically injures you. So I think maybe God didn't just mean don't kill somebody. I think he meant don't do anything that would hurt anyone at all, whether it would cause them death, whether it would just cause them physical pain, whether it would hurt their feelings, make them sad, make them feel bad about themselves, make them feel like they're not good enough. When God says, thou shalt not murder, he really means you shouldn't do anything to hurt anybody at all, any part of them God made. So this week, when you're thinking about that sixth commandment, it may seem really easy to say, well, I didn't kill anybody, so I did good. But if you hurt somebody's heart and you hurt somebody's feelings with your words or your actions or in the way you treated them, to God, that matters just as much as if you would have taken their life away because he made that person's soul and their heart just as important as their heart and their lungs that keep them breathing and their heart beating every day. Makes sense? God's good like that. God makes things complicated like that. But you know what? It's what we need to strive for, to be exactly what God wants us to be to others. I hope you've enjoyed this week's lesson. Today, we have a little special treat at the end, and Pastor Monica and Papa Joe are actually going to pray us out. So I'm going to tell you guys goodbye and that I love you, and I hope you have the best week. And Pastor Monica and Papa Joe, pray us out for the week. Love you guys. Bye. Let us bow our heads. Dear Jesus, please show me how to spend this day sharing your love in every way. Help me be kind to everyone, to do no harm and have some fun. Shining your light and sharing your grace, showing your love with a smile on my face. Amen. Amen.